Hello everyone and welcome back to our Macadon campaign. We just have successfully taken over the city of Anth Anthedia and we will take out the rest of the Tidus people here soon. And before I end the turn, I want to try and see if I can improve our relations with Athens. I can trade. I'm kind of surprised we weren't trading all Enter automatically. And speak. We surely Hello? Much you would not sell much in our marketplaces. Our people are rather sophisticated and clever, you know. Hmm. Well, aren't they just being punks? Okay. Sparta we can't trade with. Um. Uh, hmm. What's... Trade income here, 77. You get any from them, 74, 79. 83 from Egypt. Hmm. Egypt is another one of these successor kingdoms. I'm assuming they would be a bad person to talk to. Yeah, they're already hostile with us. Pontus. Devious. Sardes, Treacherous, the Trebali are not even part of our people, and they are unreliable. Man, there are not many friendly people around. Oh, they're kind of reliable. Nomadic. But, sure. You guys want a, uh... to you. I trust trade? you. I do not... Alright, how about this? Does anybody want trade I at all? You in my master's... Our merchants... The guards will have me listen to you. I do. I am honored to receive this embassy. My people are well. Wow, nobody wants to trade with Macadon. Okay, I see how it is. Nobody likes us. It's fine. I'm going to conquer the, world, the entire world, then go die in a ditch or something. Uh, let's upgrade this to a brick dryer for more money. And I think let's end the turn. Oh, uh, actually, hold on. Before I do that, how do I do the war target thing? I think that's diplomacy. Yes, war target. So I would like Athens, as, as long as their main are my client state, you know, I want them to become powerful. So I will give them the war target of Larissa, and if they take that, that's cool. In fact, I would like it if they take all of this up here and go into Rome, while me as Macadon will probably go down in here or maybe i'll also go north up through here i'm not sure yet okay anyway let's end the turn but i don't know they're being kind of rude you know like oh our people are rather sophisticated you know really your people belong to me <laughs> i don't want to hear it Oh, they apparently have a fleet left as well. An enemy is at the gates of Pella. Defeat the following army and re receive plus four public order in all provinces. Excellent. That should be pretty easy. Yay, they took the, uh, the, the city. Nice, okay. Alright, so for research... Let's, uh, let's look at this real fast. Tactical drills give us melee attack and defense and charge bonus. This will negate some upkeep and get the military wharf. Hmm. Ah, you know what, let's just do this. Open up the philosophy and economy trees too. Okay, so that's what we'll do right there. This army shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, it's just two units. Hmm. Do we have enough? I would really hope that that's enough. So let's change our stance to none and take these guys out. Oh, we also get to ambush them. Cool. Let's just auto resolve. Good 
Get out of here. Okay. Let's put you back there. And they're still getting more troops. Our spy. I mean, it all depends on if Athens is going to betray me soon or not. If they won't, then I'm obviously going to not be going this way. Because this is a good way for Athens to expand. But if they do, then I need to kill them. But for right now, man, look at that army. Yikes. Maybe I should go up here and conquer you guys as well. Because I should try to get all of Thrace, or Thracia. So that's the Navis, the Dribali, and then these guys. The Dribali, the I think, are stronger than that, right? Their territory goes back in here? Probably? Maybe? Let's find out. Let's send you over here. We hunger for battle. We'll keep you there for the public order bonus and to replenish troops. And I don't think we can recruit any of our cool guys. No. No, we cannot. So tell you what. Maybe we should send these guys. Any man who drops out is yeah. Because I should be recruiting some of our cool units, so I'm going to need to move you guys closer to Pella. And then next turn we can start recruiting some better units. Plus 10% weapon damage inflicted by the commander's unit. Huh. Okay. That's kind of cool. Do commander and warrior. For this, we will turn it into a homestead. And we do need to destroy them. Ah, they're not that big of a deal. Let's be real. Rome. Hmm. Is that all we're going to do? I can't recruit anybody. I could raise another force. Maybe I should do that instead. I should have probably done that instead, but I've already kind of committed the gods of war here to moving to Pella, so... I'll tell you what, let's raise a force back in Palpadeva. No. Eh. Okay. We'll make you a Royal Guard, or the Cavalry version. Let's get a couple Axemen, they seem kind of cool. And that's all we'll do with that. We'll move you into the city. Oh, you have no movement right now. Okay. Is that because you're recruiting? Yes. Call this a garrison. There we go. Much better. Alright, now I'll get the Axemen. Yes, we do need good fighters. Alright, so we have another war target available. So let me just do... I did the wrong button. Diplomacy, war targets. There we go. Okay. And I think I'll have this army try to help out Athens. I'll just kind of position them outside of Apollonia. And hopefully Athens will move in and we can have a giant fight. And take that over for Athens. Because I want to keep Athens as my client state. Simply because I know they're unreliable, which sucks. But they are also expansionists. So as long as they remain my client state, they will do many good things. Because they are going to be naturally inclined to go out and expand their empire so that's good for me and hey look at that we're actually friendly we started this campaign as, as hostile so it looks like a lot of the negatives like the military action against athens cultural version all that stuff i think that's kind of slowly going off how sparta look uh, for us here sparta is at minus 20 which is neutral okay well would athens would you be willing to trade now greetings, maybe friend. greetings no Speak, my friend. I mean, I would like to get some trade income, but I don't think anybody wants to be my trade partner yet. Maybe it's because I don't have any trade goods. That would probably make sense. None of these cities are trade goods, I think. Yeah. Because I think it would have a little icon next to the city name, like, uh, like this. And that. That sucks. And like that. I think that's marble? 
I don't know what that is. But hopefully we'll be taking that city pretty soon. Do we want to upgrade that? No, we do not. And I think we'll just save up the money. Let's end the turn. I'm feeling good. I think our first target should be these... Well, those guys up there. Because I think they only have the one city. And what I will probably do is have the Gods of War recruit the cool units, and then Ally confirms war target. Okay, cool. What? Minus two public order per turn. For how long? Where is this? In order to pay for the upkeep of the temples, the High Priestess intends to introduce a temple tax. Oh. Perhaps some of this money could find its way into our coffers. Who are we to question the true voice of the gods? Do nothing. The high priestess claims that this is the will of the gods, but men should not be charged for their place of worship. They should be free to honor the gods. I agree with that. Yeah. Stop her. Okay. Stance none, and let's start recruiting. Pikemen, eh. Let's see. Man, there's so many so many units. Okay, so Macedonian Infantry. They have 25 attack. These guys have 26. They have 38 weapon damage. That's the same. These guys have higher charge bonus. Slightly higher melee defense. And they have... Rapid Advance and Use the Whip abilities in the bottom left of that uh, card right there. Whereas these guys have rapid advance and a shield wall, so they're that's a more defensive ability. So these guys are basically the same unit. They even cost the same in upkeep. I mean, not obviously not initial cost. It's just, do I want shield wall or use the whip? <laughs> that's basically it. And I guess looks too. Um, let's grab these guys. Use the whip is a more offensive ability, I think. So we'll grab them. And also I probably should get more Macedonian hoplites. Or hoplites. Uh, whatever. However you pronounce it. Okay. You guys have your axemen. You do. You're still replenishing soldiers. Yes you are. Let's... Yeah. Grab another group of axemen I guess. And there's really not much else to do. Looks like Rome is sieging Apollonia. Those bastards. I do not want Rome to get a foothold in Greece. I also don't want to go to war with Rome right now. I guess we end the turn. Oh, our scout. Hmm. So these guys only do have this one city. Well, that's cool. That should make things easier. Okay. I do feel like I need to recruit more units, so... I guess I need to give these militia hoplites a try. I guess. Though they kind of suck. Wow, that's terrible, though. Their upkeep is 85? Dude, their upkeep is 85, but... At your command. I mean, these swordsmen, which are clearly better, is only 75. And these Macedonian hoplites, which are insanely better, are only 85. What the hell? How does that make... Is it because they're militia? You're, like, we're taking people from their homes, so it takes more money? Screw that, man. I'm not going to recruit any militia hoplites. I don't... I don't think so. Anything? Any buildings we can upgrade? No? Alright, let's just end the turn. Wow, I thought they would be super cheap. 
That is not the case. Okay, Pyrus is heading north of their armies. The gods have given uh -oh. signs that we must bring our friendship to an end. And I am a pious man. Okay. So Sparta wants to back out, huh? Well. It's okay, I'm not offended. It's not like I'm going to react by crushing your civilization. The High Priestess was right. The new temple tax was the will of the gods. After speaking with you, she returned to her temple to find that it had been struck by lightning. A sign of Zeus's displeasure, for she has failed. So now we have a plus 10% tax rate for five turns. Okay. Cool. I guess. Let's go for the food. We're kind of low. We'll upgrade that. And let's see, this is right there. Do I want this to become a shipwright? Uh, no, let's just make it a harbor instead. Alright, they're almost filled back up on troops. Gonna move you to the edge of the province and recruit here. Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. Ready for orders. And we're wow, we're at minus seven of public order. Are you kidding me? Okay. Details. Why? Minus twenty due to raiding. Oh my god, are these guys raiding? Isn't there supposed supposed to be like a symbol or something? You piece of crap. Okay. Ready for orders. Well. Let's double time it. Ooh, but then they may attack us. No, let's not risk that. Out. Yeah, I thought there was supposed to be a symbol if they are raiding. But, uh, okay. They are raiding us, so gotta take care of that. I'm not going to recruit any militia hoplites over there, so screw that. Man, Sparta, why did you? Why would you do that? Why? We could have been friends. I want to be friends, but you're making it hard. Now I'm tempted to just go over there and crush them, but then that may piss off Athens. I mean, with time, I may be able to make them an ally, but... Actually, I, I still probably have to worry about Epirus here. War against you is not enough, Tisiphone curse you. What? May all the Furies harry your folk throughout the ages. What? Oh my god, and Athens refuse? Oh my goodness. You dirty pieces of trash. I went to war with Epirus for them, and now they're gonna go to war with me. What's this? There are rumors of an old blacksmith who lives in the depths of the forest. People claim that he forges the finest spearheads and swords the world has ever seen. These tales must be seen to be believed. You should visit the old man to see the truth for yourself. Send a servant to buy weapons from the old blacksmith. We can judge these the truth of these. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Man! At your why? Why? Why would Sparta do this? Oh my god. Are these guys still my client state? Nope, because they refuse to go to war, and I guess they are now independent. Oh my god. Well, suddenly, Macadon is very alone, 
And there is a massive army heading towards Pella. Ready for battle. I want hourly patrols. Ready. Oh man. Okay. Let's see. Bonus versus large plus ten. Bonus for infantry zero. These guys have a hard hard charge bonus, but low armor. Way low armor. Okay, let's grab some citizen cav. Grab some skirmishers. Oh man, okay. We still need to deal with these guys. Oh, maybe that's what that is. Okay, that is a sign. It's this gold flying up to the banner. Okay. I'm assuming that means raiding. Alright, let's take them out real fast. I will not be doing any naval combat because I'm terrible at it. Kill them now, I don't care what people think about me. All my friends have abandoned me. Jeez. Okay, let's level up this army. A formidable spearman. Hmm. Hmm. Let's grab that. And commander and warrior. Okay. We'll now give these guys orders orders to go back towards Pella. He's recruiting. Man. Man. Athens, why? Now I have to conquer you. And Sparta. Oh, I wanted to be friends. Especially since Sparta is loyal. That's what really sucks. Okay, so why are we still at negative one? Minus ten to rating. Oh, okay, so I guess that just slowly deteriorates. Okay. This this is uh this is troubling. Very troubling. At least Athens isn't at war with me. But this giant Epirus army coming in is kind of scary. One oh. sacrifice is needed on the altar. You want a non-aggression pact. I speak of gold, of course. You want two hundred gold to have a non-aggression pact. <laughs> oh man. You've got some balls. And I'm tempted to just pay it. I'm already at war with with these guys. My war with Sparta. Sure. Ah, oh, that hurt to do that. It physically hurt. It like as soon as I pressed accept, I was like, ah, a piece of my soul died. Normally, I would just say screw you, and uh, that would be the end of it. But I'm not exactly in a position of power to say that. But they'll get theirs. Macadon does not forget. Neither does Sparta. If you remember that campaign with the, uh, who was it? Uh, recruited champion will get martial skill. Okay, I'll do that. It was these guys, I think. Yeah, the Bithynians. Never forget the portrayal of the Bithynians from my Sparta campaign. If you've seen it, you'll probably remember what I'm talking about. Okay, research. Plus two wealth from agricultural also enables the building of the Amphorae Kiln. That could be worth it right there. Because we have increased money, or increased income from industry, and that's an industry building. Though, this is a bonus to agriculture, which is weird. Ooh, can I ever recruit champions? Let's go for that. And let me check if I can. 
Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, campaign range. Morale for units. And if it's in the public order of Brennan Games... Oh, well, we can't even issue public edicts yet. Military training is good. Minus three upkeep is pretty good. And plus four morale. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, that's it. Right there. And what exactly is this buff? Plus five percent champion action chance of success. Oh, okay. So we're going to put him in with the Gods of War. And the army... That was on our border, I guess, withdrew back to Apollonia, maybe? Okay, so we're actively at war against Sparta. And these guys. So I'm tempted... Before going to war with... Navis... Navisos and Odessus. I need to take out Epirus and Sparta first. So... Let's recruit more units. I have, what, five hoplites, four swords, two cav, four skirmishers. That's what we'll do. Even it out like that. Or, no. No, 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 no. We won't get more hoplites. What I will do is recruit two of these Macedonian infantry for their shield wall. Okay. Oh, man. And I think these guys are just going to stay where they are at. Most likely. Yeah. It is an honor to serve. And I guess that's it. I would like to get one fight going, but I don't think that's going to happen in this episode. Especially since fights last like 15 to 20 minutes now. Or at least the one that I want will, because I want the massive army at Pella to move against Epirus. We have war. The board is ready and the peace what? is in place. There is nothing else except to die well. The Ooh. Why would they declare war against me? They're neutral! <laughs> what the f What is going on? Like, we're not even neighbors! We're. Oh my god. Wow. The old blacksmith sold your servant an impressive set of weapons, but they were not the finest in the world. As time went by, men who visited the blacksmith in person sang his praise, but those who sent others in their stead found they were disappointed with his work. I guess I should have visited him? And this is pretty scary. Like, they could declare war on me and take out... Man, oh my gosh. Household expands. Uh, this is for a general, so no, send a pool. We'll put you in with the army. Military training. It's a cool picture. And we have an enemy champion sitting right there. And then these guys out of nowhere just declare a war on me. I need allies, man. But there's nobody around, really, that's loyal, that I can... Oh, jeez. Kind of, kind of nervous. Let's have you... Oh, I guess you can't patrol right now. Yeah, definitely nervous. We're not sitting in a position of power. We're at war with Sparta, Epirus, and now these other guys across the sea there. Man. That's pretty crazy. I didn't even do anything to those guys. At least I don't remember insulting them or anything. So that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. I hope you enjoyed next episode. Next episode, what do we do? What do we do? Well, I think this army is going to have to make a move against Epirus. 
It looks like Sparta is heading up there too, but I want to take that before Sparta does. But I also have to worry about these guys now. So I need to build up my army here. And if that's the case, if these guys are going to be moving out, I guess I withdraw them. Let's do that right now. We'll move them over here and recruit some more soldiers. You know what? Let's actually get rid of this levy pike. Okay. And starting next turn, I will have them recruiting some swordsmen, most likely. Jeez. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so we're going to go against Epirus and then figure out what to do from there. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Take care.